Thank you for the MC. He has given me a, a lot of pressure because he has stayed in China and Hong Kong longer than me. I'm thankful for all the audience here, all the guests. Today I have a report for this theme about Fuxing as a large enterprise in China, uh, over 20 years of uh, startup and development. So for the future, how do we think the development of our company and how to use high technology and innovation to change our future enterprise? Fuxing was started in the 1992. In 2007, we went IPO in Hong Kong. In 1998, the Fuxing Pharmaceutical was IPO in Shanghai. The over 20 years development, we have gone through from the start up from 1992 to 2004. We have laid the solid foundation. We have made many M&A deals. So until last year, the Fuxing International IPO, now we have consolidated our investment power uh, for internationalization. So from this year, we are going through the next stage for our large-scale strategies. How can we develop more? So for the, our new strategies, we have new vision from previously our foundations. We need to provide global families to build a happiness global ecosystem rooted in China. So we will be able to use health, happiness, and wealth to make a difference to families around the world. Strategically, we need to integrate all our manpower in uh, talent, products, and technologies all over the world to build up our value proposition. So recently, that we are facing some new challenges through the economic growth of China and globally. So how do we consolidate the power of growth to build on health, happiness, and wealth, these two plates, to integrate the growth, providing families around the world this happiness ecosystem? Previously, the main areas of uh, innovation was through investment to accelerate the development of many industries. But for the future, what will we be relying on? Previously, we were relying on our M&A, our innovation, so, and to reach a rich penetration in the Chinese market. For a lot of investments, they may be seeing uh, our investment portfolio in M&A. But in the future, we know that technology will be the accelerator for our development. And for our industry, the two industries, one is the IT technology, including big data, artificial intelligence, etc. The IT technology development is the future, especially in the customer services areas. How can we elevate the efficiency of the enterprise? How can we vastly accelerate our capability to serve our customers. On the other hand, uh, we are focused on life science healthcare. In the past 20, 30 years, we also have achieved very fast. Uh, for me, my specialty is also in the healthcare specialties. Um, 
many of these technologies uh, that we have learned now has already been disrupted. Uh, but also many of the subjects I was learning in school now was just the beginning of development. So many of these health issues are the most are the subjects human most concerned. And we know that uh, some of these problems cannot just be solved by technology. Uh, so today we receive a new big news in medical breakthrough uh, from Novartis regarding the immune system. So this technology, IT is moving very fast. Some technology invented today may be applied quickly from customers, but life science is a slow technology uh, from the concept, from the clinical studies. Maybe it has to go through 10 to 30 years uh, into creation. But on both these areas, Fushun will focus on building on this. And also we are focusing on the Industry 4.0 big data, blockchain, internet, as well as artificial intelligence. In this series of technology innovations are related heavily to our ecosystems. Uh, for example, in the fine intelligence, health intelligence, fun intelligence, consumer intelligence, and also the business intelligence, we will use the IT technologies to invest, uh, to innovate, integrate all these intelligence and technology to deeply impact uh, consumers and also the relationship between suppliers and also the consumers to build this ecosystem. So, Technology reinforces the implementation of C2M strategies for this chain to build on health, happiness, and wealth uh, implementation of C2M strategy and also to break through for our, the families who are our consumers to achieve health, happiness, and wealth. In these areas, uh, in the internet, you can see we have already made many investments. The deepest impact, uh, we can say, is the Bao Bao Shu for billions and tens of millions of consumers. Uh, we're focusing on the young mothers from 20 to 35 years old. These are our main target customers. Of course, we have also invested in the number one medical internet platform in China. So all our investment portfolios, including AI, uh, and also big data companies. So we are building a very strong AI capability. In the life science healthcare, we also innovate the whole chain from incubator, angel capital, VC, BD, uh, JV, and to M&A. This is the whole journey uh, of various investment and collaborations that we can provide. So from the analysis, of the gene from also prevention, all this. We also have many uh, results. For example, the Shanghai Hanlius biotech companies that today it's the leading Chinese company in the terms of uh, MAB biosimilar drugs, biobetters, and the novels. In terms of incubator, we also establish an uh, incubator that we can have full control, uh, and we work with the uh, doctor from Yale University. Uh, uh, very together, we partner and we set up this incubator. 
to incubate companies in AI and other technologies. So through this uh, startup entrepreneurship partnership, share value, we help them and to accelerate their development and to development. So for Fuxing, our cooperation method is not just like a big enterprise. We use our development to attract scientists and other companies to help our innovation. So from this basis, I believe that the Fuxin uh, will grab and capture, consolidate the power of growth in health science for the future. Thank you very much. So we got uh, time for two questions. Anybody, hands up. We're gonna we're gonna translate them into Chinese. Anybody have a question about innovation? I can't see so well. Yes, please, Jasmine. Please stand up. I can speak in Chinese. Yeah, just uh, or English. Well, you know what? You should ask in English so everybody can understand, and then they'll they'll and then they'll translate it to Chinese. Hi. Hi. Um, Good morning, everyone. Uh, myself is a pharmacist um, in the medical field, and I've come here um, to explore more opportunity about um, the medical tech. So let's ask um, um, him that um, how do you find the directions for the to unify the healthcare system um, using tech, IT, big data, and things like that. Um, would like to ask for your opinions for um, the direction um, to make our healthcare system more connect. Mm. Yeah. So kind of the receptiveness of the medical industry to new innovation is that the is that, or maybe you could ask in Chinese. Go ahead, just to, so it's really clear if yeah. you want to. Um, Yes, I want to ask that the whole medical system is actually uh, not well connected because uh, each uh, areas are doing their own things, especially in uh, the area, especially for patients. Um, it's very difficult for them to attain some information. So for the future, do you think, how can we use utilize technology to connect the medical system and to achieve better results? Yes, I know that this is what Fuxing is currently doing. Previously, in the medical areas, we are restricted to the information of the medical knowledge for uh, general people, especially uh, except if you are a specialist. When we have a feeling of illness, we don't really know the knowledge of the process of our health. Or when we develop some chronic uh, disease, we have a very narrow view uh, about what to do. So the only information we will get is when we visit the doctors. Yeah. In the future, we are building uh, medical insurance, health management, and also medical products. You know, this system, for example, in medical management, is to let everybody to understand their current health uh, situation and status. There. But uh, most importantly, firstly, we have to uh, give the information of the analysis of the gene. You know, so we can learn about each the genes, and also we know the triggers of diseases or other uh, inherent health conditions. So when we have this type of data. We will use through the health management technology and also health insurance technologies. For this, therefore, for our consumers or for the patients, they can have a better control or they can slow down the development of their chronic disease. Uh, with health management, they could delay 
the appearance of their chronic disease. Uh, if we don't have this information, perhaps, for example, in the diabetic patient, maybe they, the other uh, symptoms will show up much earlier without their awareness and without the health management. So in this system, the key point is through current IT technology to be able to open up and connect the information of the health management, health insurance, and also the medical information. So for each company, there will be a back a back office system to give the information and to store the information. Yeah. For all of our bodies and all of our health, we need the maintenance. If we don't have information, we don't know it in our health where has changes, where changes has happened. So therefore, with technology, for example, the big data we can do. So thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, so Mr. Chen.